Hello learners, welcome to my YouTube channel, Math Chemistry. Today we have chemistry from two. First topic, structure of the atom and the periodic table. Uh, we have lesson one. In this lesson, we want to see the topic is the structure of the atom. Let's say now first atom. Atom is the smallest particle of an element which can take part in chemical reaction. The smallest particle of element which always take part in a chemical reaction is uh, what we refer as an atom. Then atom is made up of three subatomic particles. Namely, we have proton, which is abbreviated as P. We have electrons, which is abbreviated as E. We have neutrons, which is abbreviated as N. So that is now the subatomic particles. There are three, the protons, the electrons, and the neutrons. Then atom is made up of two regions. Atom is made up of two regions. Which region and which region? The first region is the nucleus. It has two regions. One is the nucleus. Nucleus is the small central part where protons and neutrons occupy. So the central part where the protons and the neutrons occupy is what we refer as the nucleus. If you remember from biology, the third topic cells. If you see the animal cell, it has now the central part. The cell it has the central part. You used to refer as the nucleus. That is now the same. The atom, it has the nucleus, which is now the, the central part. And the nucleus, what occupy is the protons and the neutron, uh, neutrons. NB. The protons and neutrons occupies in the nucleus, hence are called nucleons. They are called the nucleons because they occupy the nucleus. Then the other region of the atom is the energy level. Energy level is the larger region surrounding the nucleus where electrons occupy. So energy level this is the uh, region that surrounds the nucleus and what occupies the energy level is the electrons electrons occupy the energy level so here we have seen an atom the smallest particle of an element which take part in chemical reaction then the atom is made up of three subatomic particles that is the proton the electron and the neutrons then we have seen the atom is made up of two regions that is the nucleus and the energy level. So let's see now the structure of atom. The topic is the structure of atom and the periodic table. So let's see this structure. How does it? So in the atom, we have uh, the nucleus. Where the nucleus what occupy is the proton and the neutron. While you have the energy level, the region that surrounds uh, the nucleus. So this is the nucleus. The small central part. And this is the energy level, the region that surrounds uh, the nucleus, the energy level. So we have seen what occupying the nucleus is proton and the neutron. What occupy the energy level? Energy level is occupied by the electron. So electrons occupy the energy level. That is E. Electrons are the one occupying the energy level. Next, let's see the characteristics of subatomic particles. Which features or the features of the subatomic particles? Then we have subatomic particles that is proton, neutron, and electron. One feature we see their mass, relative mass, and another another one we see the electrical charge. Proton it has mass of one, but it is positively charged. Neutron it has mass of one. The charge is neutral, meaning has no charge. Neutron meaning has no charge. Only the charge are two. Either, have, either it is positive or negative. So neutral has no charge. It is uh, neutron. The electron it has mass one out of 1840, meaning it is negligible. We normally say it has negligible mass, very very little mass. What is the charge of the electron? Electron it is negatively charged. So in the structure of the atom that we have, the three subatomic particles, the proton has mass of one and it is positively charged. The neutron has mass of one and has no charge while the electron has a negligible mass, meaning the mass is very little, and it is negatively charged. 
We have a question here. The question here is atom is said to be electrically neutral. Explain why. Why atom is electrically neutral? Meaning, and why an atom has no charge? Always we normally say an atom it has charge of zero, meaning it is a neutral. Why? Answer this this is due to the equal number of proton and electron, meaning the number of electrons, the number of protons and the number of electrons are equal. If let's say sodium, if it has eleven proton, it has eleven electron, meaning there is no extra charge or extra uh, electron that can act as a charge. So that's why we have the atom is electrically neutral, meaning uh, it has same number of protons and same number of electrons. Next we have atomic number and the mass number. We want to refine out what is atomic number and what is the mass number. Atomic number and mass number. Atomic number is the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom. Meaning, if you want to know the atomic number, you should know the number of proton. If you know the number of proton, meaning you know the atomic number. So meaning atomic number and the number of proton are just same. It's the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom. Let's see this example. Magnesium atom has 11 protons in its nucleus. Therefore, its atomic number is 11, meaning atomic number and the number of protons are equal. Atomic number is the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom. Note, the atomic number is written as subscript, meaning at the lower part, at the lower base, in front of the uh, symbol. Illustration, let's say I, you have sodium. So subscript is here. This is the place which is called subscript. subscript. So that one now, it shows it shows sorry subscript it shows now the atomic number in front of the element always in all element that we have if the symbol is shown the subscript uh, that means it is the atomic number what is the mass number the mass number is the sum of proton and neutrons the sum of proton and neutron we have as mass number so this is the sum of protons and neutrons in an atom of an element meaning the mass number is equal to the proton plus neutron where mass number we take as m equal to p plus n example let's see here magnesium atom has 12 protons and 12 neutron in its nucleus therefore its mass number is what we add proton and neutron proton is 12 and neutron is 12 so 12 plus 12 the mass number of magnesium is 24 so note here we have the mass number is written as the superscript meaning the upper base the upper part of the element in front of the chemical symbol so let's say now generally generally say if we have element x where here we have a and here we have b it means x is the symbol of the element is the symbol of the element what about a uh, what about a a, this is the superscript. This is the superscript. And B, this is the subscript. So we say what occupy the superscript is the, is the mass number. This one is the mass A number. B, the subscript. That is the atomic number. Atomic uh, number. The atomic number. The one thing that we should know here, in the previous part, here we have seen the number of proton is equal to the number of electron and again here we are seeing we have seen that atomic number is the number of proton so generally we should know that always the number of proton is just equal to the number of electrons we have seen from the other part which is also equal to the atomic number why because atomic number is the number of proton and proton is just equal to the electron is equal to the atomic number this is the reality we should know overhead. It should be in our fingertips. Let's see an atom P can be represented as a follow. Let's say we have atom P. Here it is 40. And let's say here it is 20. Find atomic number of P. So atomic number is just equal to the number of proton. What have we in here? The number of proton occupy in the subscript the subscript b is the number 
is the atomic number and atomic number is equal to the number of protons so meaning in this atom we have 20 as our atomic number why 20 is the number of proton let's see the mass number how do you show the mass number the mass number is represented in the superscript so a it is the mass number that is the superscript what is our first superscript it is 40 so the mass number here is 40 let's see the number of protons the number of protons is equal to the atomic number and what is our atomic number here it is 20 so meaning the number of protons is equal to 20 here again we have the number of electrons what do you know about the number of electrons the number of the proton the number of the electrons and the atomic number are equal so if the number of proton is 20 what is the number of electron it's also 20 and lastly here we have the number of neutrons how can you get the number of neutrons you should remember always this part the mass number we said is equal to proton plus neutron our mass number here is 40 the number of proton is 20 can we get the neutron yes let's replace so mass number we have 40 is equal to proton we have 20 plus n can we get n let's carry 20 on this side so n is equal to 40 minus 20 which is equal to 20 so meaning the number of neutrons of p also it is 20 and that is how we apply now this part it is the basic part and the basic uh, way we should go or you should know how to go for the subatomic particles the proton the electron and the neutron and also remember this topic is the backbone to chemistry is the door to chemistry why you will learn the particles you will learn how to write the chemical equation you will learn how to uh, uh, drive the valency of the elements of the compounds and radicals so it is generally very 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 important to know this topic it is backbone to chemistry and it is the door to chemistry why chemistry you cannot go somewhere without knowing how to write a chemical equation how to balance a chemical equation how to write the state of the chemical equation so without that and all that problem it is solved in this topic so meaning it is the backbone to chemistry uh, let's see here now uh, there's a self trial question here so try this question as you can follow here we have question one question one let's say it is element element x it contains here 16 and here it is 8 you can do now that question uh, one as it goes up just follow it then we have question two and we have question three so try these questions and share the answer in the comment section welcome